Hi everyone, it's Mr. Nicholson again. Uh, today I have another video uh, for you to try at home. This time you're going to need either a tennis ball or maybe a handball. Hopefully you have one of them at home um, and to try some of these activities. So I'm going to use a tennis ball today and I want to see can you do this. Some of these are going to be really easy to start with and then I'm going to try and make them harder and harder as we go. And like all my videos, we're going to have a bonus round and let's see if you can do it. So the first one today, it's going to be pretty easy. We're going to start with a ball just in one of our hands, any hand you want. We're going to throw it just above our head and catch it with two hands. So the first one, up above my head and catch it in front. Up and catch. If this is easy, can you do it 10 times without dropping the ball? So pause the video if you want. Up and catch 10 times without it touching the ground. Activity number two. When you're ready for this, we're going to do the same thing, but can you do it only with one hand? So you can start with your dominant hand, the one you like to use your pen or pencil with, and can you throw it up and catch it around your belly button area just with one hand? If that's easy, you can swap to your other hand, up and catch, or you can go up, across, and catch with your other hand. Can you do that at least 10 times without it touching the ground? After those two activities, the next one, can you throw and uh, clap and catch the ball? So for example, I'm going to throw the ball up, I'm going to clap my hands once and catch again. So up, clap, catch. If that gets easy, you can add two or three claps. So I can go one, two, catch, or I can go one, two, three, catch. And if that's still really easy for you, you can go for your own personal record. So I might try and do five this time, so I'm concentrating. Up, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I dropped it. So I'm going to try again. Can I do five again? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I got it that time. So you might be able to do five or six or seven or eight or even ten. It's up to you. You have to give it a go. Once you've had a go at that one, can you throw the ball up and catch it above your head? So all the catches we have been doing have been down here with our hands around our belly button. But this time I'm going to throw the ball up and catch it above my head. I'm going to go up and catch up here. One more time. Up, catch, up. Good. My eyes are following the ball all the time and with both hands catching above my head. Same thing. See if you can do that maybe five or ten times. That's your challenge. Remember, pause the video at any time so you can practice as much as possible and then continue on. After that, this time we're going to use a wall. So over this side I have our wall and I'm going to throw against the wall and get my hands ready to catch. So the first one here I'm going to go underarm and I'm going to catch the ball with two hands. So watch the wall, I'm going to throw and catch. Again, throw, catch, throw, catch. Can you do this ten times? If you find that hard, you can move a little bit closer. Throw, catch. If you find it pretty easy, you can take a couple of steps back and do the same thing. After that, you can move to just one hand. So you can use your strong hand or your dominant hand and you can throw against the wall and only catch with that hand. Same thing, we can swap over. I'm gonna throw with my strong or dominant hand and I'm gonna catch with my non-dominant hand, so my other one here. So I'm going to throw this way. Oh no, I dropped it. Got to really concentrate. I'm going to throw and catch with that hand. Same thing, I can throw back, catch with the other one. You can also throw, catch, and every time you catch it, you can take one step back and do it again. Throw, catch. Take another step back. Throw, catch. And you can keep doing this and see how far away from the wall can you get. It's a pretty tough challenge. Once you've done all those activities, you must be going pretty well at home. I've got a few more to see, just to, just to really make you think about it and uh, make, it, make it a bit harder for you. So the next one here is just a bounce, clap, catch. So I didn't throw it up that time. I had to think about it. I bounced the ball, clap, and catch. Give it a go at home. If that's too easy, two claps and a catch. So we can always make this a tiny bit harder. The next one after that, can you 
throw it up, bounce, clap, catch. So now I had to think a little bit harder. I had to throw it up, I had to wait, let it bounce, clap, and catch again. So we've made it just a little bit harder. So once you've had a go at that, make sure you practice. It's easy to do it one time. See if you can do it two, three, four, maybe five times in a row. After that, there's one more. This time, we're gonna put a bit of a spin in there. So I'm gonna throw the ball up, I'm gonna spin, I'm gonna let the ball bounce, I'm gonna clap, and then I'm gonna catch it with one hand. So watch how I do it. I'm gonna throw the ball up, I'm gonna spin, clap, catch with one hand. One more time. Up, spin, clap, catch, one hand. See how you go, give that one a go at home. So they're all the ones I want you to try this time. Hopefully you have a tennis ball laying around. But if you've done all of them and that's easy peasy, we have the bonus round for you. So the bonus round is throwing the ball up and can you catch the ball behind your back? I'm gonna demonstrate this. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. But I'm gonna keep trying until I get it. Ready, so I'm going to throw the ball up, behind my back, up, I drop it. Let's try with the other ball I have in my pocket, up, and catch it just like that. Alright, hope you're having a good time at home, see you next time.